Hello. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. And Lord Jesus Christ is coming so very, very soon. Sooner than any of us can imagine. So keep looking up. Keep looking up. And I'm going to be reading Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1 through 6 from the King James. Let's begin. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, speak to your people and say to them, If I bring the sword upon a land, and the people of the land take a man from among them, and make him their watchman, and if he sees the sword coming upon the land, and blows the trumpet, and warns the people, then if anyone who hears the sound of the trumpet does not take warning, and the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and did not take warning. His blood shall be upon himself. But if he had taken warning, he would have saved his life. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, so that the people are what warned, and the sword comes and takes any one of them, that person is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. Amen. And remember to take this all up to the Lord in prayer and ask him for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Turn to the Lord, and he will send the Holy Spirit upon you, which is your, which is the te your teacher. And I'll guide you to wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So, what is, what's going on here? The sword comes. The sword is, a, is basically dividing the wheat from the tares. So, they have a watchman set up. You know, the Son of Man says, Speak to your people and tell them, If I bring the sword upon the land, and the people of the land take a man from among them and make him their watchman. So, there be a watchman. Will be watching you know to see the signs of the times to know if the Lord is coming to divide the wheat from the tares with a sword that's why it's so important to warn people that Lord Jesus Christ is coming and that there's going to be even more wrath and more judgments coming upon the land that's why it's so important to warn everyone because if you are if you've been blessed to be a watchman and you don't warn the people the blood is going to be required to your hand. Remember that. So, if you hear the trumpet and hear the new news that Lord Jesus Christ is coming and that there's going to be perilous, more worse perilous times than there is right now coming and you don't get your house in order with Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to have the sword upon you. You don't want to be a terror. You want to be a wheat. You want to be found worthy to be with Lord Jesus Christ. You don't want to be that wicked servant who said, Oh, my Lord's tearing, he's taking his time. And, you know, start getting in with the drunkards and beating up his your maid servants and, and man servants and all that stuff. And then and then he'll come in an hour you don't know. And the next thing you know he's gonna divide you asunder and put you there with the non believers and they'll be gnashing and gashing of teeth. You don't want to be there. That's not a place you want to be. If you want to save your life, you have to turn to Lord Jesus Christ and accept him as your Lord and Savior. He died on the cross for your sins. He's the way, the truth, and the life. So listen. 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 And and have discernment. Be careful who what teachers you are listening to, those on YouTube. Because you don't want to listen to the wrong ones, the ones that are like saying, they're itching your ears saying, oh, this... The magic ocean potion is not the mark, or all these other things, or or giving you milk. Stop sitting there and drinking milk from the milk bottle. You need meat. You need to dig into God's holy word and eat the meat, not the milk. You don't want to want to be on want to be there anymore. You don't want to be that lamb still nursing off its mother. It's time to go over and be that lion and get the lion share of the carcass. You know what I mean? 
like well you know a lion cub and you know it's with its mom it's eating milk and that's how everyone is when they're at the beginning when they're with you know the right at the beginning when they accept lord jesus christ their savior they're learning to walk and they get the milk but you can't stay on the milk forever you got to grow up and become a big old strong lion or lioness and get out there and get the meat get that delicious big hunk of meat and you want that you want the meat of God's holy word and you need to search and look for teachers who will give you the meat so take this all up to the Lord in prayer and um, and look to Lord Jesus Christ for wisdom knowledge and understanding and remember when God comes to divide the wheat from the tares you want to be found as a wheat you want to find your heart and mind and soul with the Lord Jesus Christ not with the world you can't be divided you can't be divided like I had given an analogy yesterday um, to Lord Jesus Christ in a long conversation where you had with this girl I'm just gonna give a random name Paulina I don't know why I pick that name all the time um, she goes to church she loves the Lord she worships him she walks with him but then when she's outside of work, when she's outside of outside of, of church and away from the from the people, her church going people, when she's hanging out with her sisters, she was hanging out with with them, she started going back into Grand Theft Auto, cursing, drinking, partying, reveling, and living in the world. She was divided against herself because one minute she was you know, living with her sisters in their apartment together and drinking and partying and living that life and then the next morning she would get herself cleaned up to the best of her ability put on a really nice modest outfit and then go to church and 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 do some you know you know do some teachings and stuff and and look like you know a perfect citizen but then when she got home she was swearing like a sailor she's divided against herself she's lukewarm you don't want to be that you don't want to be in that position because if you're lukewarm, as it says in God's holy word, Jesus will spit you out. Which, if you look at the word in Greek, it'll come up vomit. It's you know, if you take that word apart, and yeah, uh, yeah, it's not good. You don't want that. You want to be found worthy, and you don't want to live divided. You want to read God's holy word and and to love Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart. And so you don't want to sit there listening to Death Clock and. And all these other hard rock bands or even Lady Gaga. You want to be found listening to good Christian music and worshiping the Lord. If you love Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart and soul, you won't want to listen to this music. I will tell you that. I used to be a hardcore rock fan. I love Death Clock. I used to love Death Clock. I don't even like saying that anymore. And, and Disturbed and Corn and all these hard rock bands. And I was used to be a lady used to be into totally into Lady Gaga. I even wanted to look like her, you know, like a pin straight hair and all this all this garbage especially when I was a teenager and God pulled me all out of it and I realized how disgusting it was I realized like the lyrics and corn were completely disgusting and, and vulgar and horrible and there when he opened my eyes to how evil and disgusting death clock was and it, it was just vomiting gross I couldn't even stand it now and I couldn't believe I used to watch it when I was 14 years old and was totally into it I'm totally 100% an 80 degree opposite of who I used to be. And if God can do that with me, he can do that with you. He can pull you out of that stuff. He can pull you away from all of it. He can deliver you out of it. But you have to put your hands in, in God's hands. You, can't, you cannot do it by your flesh, I can tell you that much. I tried to quit on my own through my flesh. It's impossible. You can only do it between you and God. Because only God can get remove it from your heart to those desires out of your heart and get rid of them out of your life for good which is so amazing I thought I would be you know stuck like that forever stuck to these addictions to hard rock and anime and cosplay and makeup and and, and being extremely vain and, and always having to worry about my weight and, and always trying to have, have the perfect look and everything else and trying to be young for all eternity and God got all of that away from me. He delivered me from all of it. And he continues to deliver me from every every hardship. Even when I have people that I'm friends with and they and they leave out of my life. 
and I realize that they may be children of God, but we don't see eye to eye. And I let it go. I know that one day I'll see them in heaven, hopefully, and um, that everything will be all right. Now I know there are levels in heaven, but um, hopefully we, you know, we get to meet each other. I mean, there's going to be a lot of angels and a lot of people up there, but I was thinking of it that way, not that they will go to heaven, because I know they're going to heaven. What, is, what I'm thinking is, like, maybe we'll meet each other, or maybe not, because, you know, I'm thinking there's going to be multitudes and multitudes of people up there, and who knows where God, Jesus is going to send me. So, but yeah, it's the truth. And I'm hoping to meet you, though, up in heaven, whoever is listening to this on the other end of this, this video, whoever you are, I'm hoping to meet you up in heaven one day. So, but take this all up to the Lord in prayer and, and turn to the Lord and, and, uh, and listen, listen, and, and if you know that this, that, that sword is coming, get your heart right in order. But I would say, even before you hear the sword coming, get your heart right in order anyway. Don't you want to be found um, worthy to escape? And you don't know the day or hour you're 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 going to hit the day of judgment. You know the last hour of your life. As I always said, Teresa Delanzio, who was 14 years old, didn't know that her life was coming to an end. She thought she was just going to cross the road, the highway, to go see her friends on the other side and play with them. And it never happened. She never made it across the highway. A car came speeding and went right and hit her and threw her up in the air and well. She went to the Day of Judgment. You don't know when the day or the hour is going to be. There was another girl that, that went to my school. And she's a lot younger than me. And she was only 20 years old. And she did not know her day was coming. She did not know. It just happened. That's why you should have your house in order and be prepared to, be, to meet Lord Jesus Christ every day. Because you never know what day is your last. And don't start reading your palms. <laughs> I will tell you that much. Palm reading doesn't give you any, get you anywhere. Um, it's all a false, lying thing of the dirtbag enemy, Satan. So that, that doesn't do anything. Don't read all that stuff. Don't try to figure out what these lines in your hands mean. They mean nothing. They're just lines in your hands. They absolutely mean nothing. So... I'll leave you with that, and uh, Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah.